everyone. It is our first Wednesday of May. What do you think of that? And here we are at the Ru and Who Show. Okay, so yes, how are you? We are very good this evening. How exciting, you know, and we have I can see them. That's your girl band, right? Yeah. They're all girls, except for me. I know. It's such a good thing. You're like the Robert Palmer of today. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a love, right? Yeah, you might as well, right? So, um, today is May 6th, and you know what today is? I like this. It's, it's Crepe Suzette, and, you know, I've realized Crepe Suzette is like a crepe with, like, Grand Marnier, and you light it all up. So, we have... Um, these are actually almondette cookies. The, mm. maybe, like that's the Suzette. This, this is our ruined version of Craig Suzette. But it's also International No Diet Day. Thank God. <laughs> so anyone who, if you're on a diet, please don't diet today. You can have whatever you want. It's it's international. We should probably go to Italy or somewhere like France and really splurge on this lovely, Chicken lovely free day of no diet. Yeah, right. All right, what else happened on May 6th? Walmart, one year ago today, actually two years, but who cares, revenue exceeds that of ExxonMobil becoming the largest company by revenue on the Fortune 500 list. Oh, oh Walmart. Have you, do you ever, I, I hate to say it, but like when I go to foreign lands in this country and find a Walmart, I kind of go crazy in there because it's such a novelty to me. Me too. It's so much Walmart. fun. I've been left in Walmart. When I was on tour, I got left behind in Walmart. They didn't <laughs> Behind the next station. I got left behind also in Wheeling, West Virginia. Two <laughs> times I got left behind. But Wheeling, somebody's car broke down and I wandered off. I'm, I wander off a lot, you know. I like to do that. More than 1,000 birds, mostly pelicans, and hundreds of dolphins die off the under unexplained circumstances. What do you think it is, oil? Uh, it's got to be our fault. Yeah. Could you imagine waking up and seeing a thousand birds, mostly pelicans and a hundreds of dolphins? Oh my God, that's just terrible. That's terrible. I hope they fixed it. Militant Islamic group Al Qaeda confirms that Osama bin Laden's death happened and they threaten revenge. Duh. I mean, come on. That happened on May 6th, though. Can you believe it? Um, in 2011, so... Thanks to us. The drink is contaminated by something, but, you know, enjoy life while we're here. No diet day. That's, that's all I care about. Exactly. Michael Jackson and the Bee Gees on this day were inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. How rock and roll is that? Michael Jackson and the Bee Gees. That's the epitome of rock and roll to me. I mean, I love them both, but come on. Is that rock and roll? Is that like, you know, is that gas wild? No fucking way. Channel the channel, the channel, I love the website that I use. The channel, I like that better, linking England and France officially opened. I want to go on that. Yeah, I mean, come on. Has anyone been on that channel? <laughs> I know, it's like it's like an underwater channel. To, I like channels. I know, it's better than the Holland channel. It's the... Comedian Bobcat Goldweight sets fire to the couch on The Tonight Show. All right. Yay! I love that. I love you think it's on purpose or an accident? <coughs> what would Jimmy Fallon do today if that happened? Wow. What would he do? He'd put roast marshmallows. In, yeah. yeah, maybe, right? He might. He just might. Exactly. He'd want to make a bigger fighter than Bobcat. That's what I think Jimmy Fallon would. Couch. I'm going to like the... 
My hair. Yeah, something bigger, exactly. Lennox Lewis, I just did this before <coughs> that dumb fight that just happened. Oh, no. He knocked out Phil Jackson in eight for a heavyweight boxing title. That's when boxing was real. Yeah. When it was really boxing. Or maybe not. Lewis, I just like how he speaks. Because, you know, he's got that channel language. Nelson Mandela and his ANC finally confirmed the winners in South Africa. What is the ANC? Does anyone know? African National Council. See, I knew there would be somebody Maybe. smart here that would know it. What is it? African National Council. There you go. That's because you're English. And, you know, you have a lot it's of ties. Yeah, exactly. Because they know a lot. They used to occupy most of Africa. So they, they, they know. <laughs> yeah, they, they're the reason that they all changed their names. Right? To Zimbabwe, from Rhodesia. Yeah, it's, it's part of that thing, probably. Um, the New York Met, Anthony Young, begins his losing streak of at least 26 games on this day. He should be a Yankee, not a Red. Exactly. I mean, he's on the wrong team these yeah. days. Exactly. Donut Gate. Can you believe this one? Yeah. The Donut Gate incident. New Jersey Devils coach Jim Schoenfeld tells referee Barsky to eat another donut, you fat pig. And he is suspended for 88 days. God, you think he's related to the governor of New Jersey? That should be donut gay. Maybe it's something with denies his affair with model Donna Rice on this day. We all know how that turned out. Gary Hart, not for president. Mario Andretti sets one lap speed record at the Indy um, at 218.204 miles per hour. I'm sure that record's been broken, don't you think? But that happened on May 6th. The Beatles at the Hollywood Bowl released in the UK on this day, yes, a stolen guitar player painting by Jan Vermeer was found in London on this day, in 1974 on May 6th. The first nuclear warhead was fired from the Polaris submarine. Can you imagine? That was 1962. 62. Yeah, wow. it's like they've been doing this nuclear stuff a lot longer, just like they've been using computers a lot longer. You know, like everything yeah. is really comes out late for the usual. I mean, for us to just get a nuclear weapon now, it's like so new, but like it's been going on for a long time. English Prince Margaret marries Anthony Armstrong Jones, Lord Snowden. Catch the name, Snowden. Yes, this is their anniversary if they're still married. I don't know. President Eisenhower signed the Civil Act, Civil Rights Act of 1960 on this day. Did you, 1960, you hear that? Um, what's up with the civil rights movement right now in this world? I don't get it. It's can you believe a president signed that in 1960 and we're still having bullshit? We all fix now. I hope it is. Please, world, wake up. The last broadcast of I Love Lucy was on this day. Oh, I Love Lucy. Yeah. I think she was, I don't know if her and Ricky were so happy together. I don't know if he would say I Love Lucy, but, but I do. Liz Taylor's first marriage to Conrad Hilton was on this day. Joseph Stalin became premier of Russia on this day. Uh, King George and Queen Mary celebrate their silver jubilee. That the other queen just had her silver jubilee. I was in England when that happened. That's the that's sixty years. I only know because I I actually was there. It was the wedding, and it was the jubilee all in the same. It was so much going on. Oh, England, you're so funny with your queens and kings. I know. King George. Um, what else happened? Anything exciting? Anything fun? King Henry VIII orders Bibles be placed in every church. Now, what version do you think he was talking about? His version, I'm sure. Yeah, that happened on this day. The refrigerator, refrigerator machine was patented on this day. We couldn't even have an uh, auto shrunken head tiki bar without a refrigerator. For him. Birthdays, Dana Hill Getz. Does anyone remember who she is? She's an actress. The only reason I said it was she was the little girl. That happens to 
be one of my most favorite movies. I love that movie. Did you ever see it? Did you ever hear of it? Oh, it's, about. it's so good. It's sad and tragic, but it's really good. It's Diane Keaton and... Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Alessandra Ferry, the British ballerina of ABC, her birthday. It's George Clooney's birthday today, so I wonder what they're doing. Um, Aidan Quinn's birthday. Kate Collins, I have to say her because she was now my favorite show in the whole wide world. That you do? You remember Natalie and Janet? Yeah. She came to my class. I took a class in soap operas, and she actually came to uh, Yeah, Lynn Whitfield. She played Josephine Baker in Equal Justice, and I had Josephine Baker's birthday. Of course, she's related to me. Sorry. To Tony Blair's birthday is today. He spoke at my daughter's graduation at college, and they had to play protesters there when he spoke because he was doing something bad. Robbie McIntosh, the drummer of Average White Band, who remembers them? His birthday's today. Bob Seeger and the one and only Sigmund Freud <laughs> birthday. Wow. The cigar smoker, father of psychology, and we all know what else he did. Right? Yeah. A lot of love. Angels today. Angels, the most fabulous angel, Marlena Dietrich. She's Aww. an angel with us today. Yes, she died in Paris. Craig Suzette. Yes. yes, we love you, Marlene. <laughs> William Casey, the director of the CIA, died on this day. B.C. <laughs> Forbes, <laughs> the founder of Forbes magazine, passed away on this day. And uh, Frank Lyman Baum, the author of The Wizard of Oz, is an angel with us today. What would we do without The Wizard of Oz? Wow. It would be a sad world, right? I mean, I always relate to the Yellow Brick Road or Hook in My Heels or Toto 2. Or... What's your favorite Wizard of Oz then? The Witch. The Witch one? Oh, I like, I like both of them, but I like the Green Fly. Yeah, yeah she's she so the Witch. Like, yeah. And um, that's about it. So, uh, do you want to try our first great Suzette? Yeah, I like it. Just to show everyone how delicious it is. <laughs> It's gonna be good, I know it. Yeah? That's great. You ready for some from you ready for resurrection? I'm ready. Alright, so we shall return and resurrection is gonna rock your Who's to say what goes wrong when the breath grows short? Even though you've been a good sport when the tough grow weak. It's a life on time and full of surprises It's a place to get you all over